Hey guys, what's up? Blacker Bricks here, back with another video for News Thursdays. So first off in this week's news, I bit a bit earlier actually, about a week ago now, the uh, Lego Star Wars Moss Eisley Cantina was uh, first revealed on a South Korean Facebook page. So not the best images, just some blurry images over here we got. And uh, as well as that, we got some images of the Winter Village 2020 Elf Clubhouse, which also looks fairly attractive. And in this image, it looks <laughs> it looks almost like a 3D... Uh, well, it actually, it probably is a 3D rendering, but it looks uh, a bit more fanciful than it does in the real one. Um, the Technic Porsche 911 is also on sale. Let me see if that still is available. Um, it, I believe it is. So this will be down below as an affiliate link so as always in the description below i'll have some affiliate links if you purchase anything from there you will be supporting the channel and i would really appreciate that guys um the brick heads are actually sold out on shop at home they were quite uh, popular in that case um let's see what else uh the monkey kid uh monkey kids delivery bike promotion is uh, live on shop at home the chronicle books lego puzzles our pre-orders are now available on Amazon. These are 1,000-piece puzzles, and they retail for $18. Um, I am quite interested in puzzles, so I don't know. I might pick this up. Um, obviously, the seasonal winter sets have been released, and both Fall Guys Project and Ratatouille, the second, the Reopen the Doors, have both reached 10,000 supporters. Um, in honor of Chadwick Boseman, they have released a free Lego Black Panther statue building instructions at the Brick Show stop, uh, Brick Show shop. I think that's very nice of them, and I, uh, I think that's a, a good way to respect him. The Lego Harry Potter VIP Rewards Center. You can get some signed sets. Interestingly enough, um, I guess they're all sold out because these are probably extremely popular, and these were signed by the uh, actors that played. Uh, the Weasley brothers in the movies. So finally, the advent calendars are now available. Uh, obviously, they're actually on sale on Amazon right now. Um, they're all $10 off. I will include links to that in the description as well. Please, guys, if you pick one of these up, you will be supporting the channel. I would really appreciate it. Uh, the Lego by Levi's uh, crossover or collab collection it has been officially announced and it looks pretty exciting, honestly. Um, here we have, first off, a jean jacket, which I really actually like. I, I know it's pretty simple for a jean jacket. It has some colorful buttons. It has, a, I think, a 6x6 six six plate, or two of them, just attached there so you can put some studs and stuff on. <laughs> They're also jeans. I, I don't know. I might pick this up. I'm quite tempted to. Just a normal shirt, which I don't believe has any studs on it a uh, pretty attractive sweater as well um a hoodie and just a shirt a hat and a beanie and i guess what looks like a this here we have a final pack and a bag but i don't even know this looks like one of those uh fishing uh what is it called cap it doesn't say anything i'm not sure i'm not even sure what that is honestly if you guys know what that is it looks like a fishing bag something you might wear at that time if you guys have any clue what that is let me know i am completely confused the moss Eisley cantina set five nine or seven five two nine zero was officially announced this is releasing on september 16th so about six days from today uh this coming wednesday it's going to retail for $350, and obviously this is the release for LEGO VIP members, so definitely sign up if you haven't. It's absolutely free, and this actually looks like a pretty attractive set. Let me jump it up, and uh, oof, that's not the best quality images. They are better than before, and this looks really good. I am honestly surprised that it's uh, $350. I, I guess I really wish this was three hundred. I would have I would not even have thought about it twice in that case, but that's fine. We have our first real look at the uh, Adidas shoes, and I'm really really happy that Lego is doing so many uh, collabs with clothing companies. <laughs> I'm just thinking, imagine if I if I get all this stuff and <laughs> I walk walk into like the Lego store or something. How funny would that be? Um, I guess Lego released a statement because this is one of the largest amounts of projects they've received ever, about 35. Obviously, because um, so many people are home, they have extra time, and people have been uh, submitting projects. 
As of now, I don't think they've definitely said anything, or de- rather definitively said anything. They're just asking what we suggest. Um, there's also a Lego Ideas Head Back to Hogwarts building contest, which looks pretty cool. Um, you have the chance to win all of these if you design a uh, Hogwarts scene just when they head back. And obviously there are 35 projects this time. I'm not going to read them all out, but... Yeah, that's pretty much it for the news today, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please let me know what you want to see in the future. I would once again appreciate if you checked out the affiliate links and my Patreon, which is now available. Let me see if I can just pull that up real quick. Um, that is the probably the best way you can just support me directly. And... Uh, yeah, I would really appreciate that, guys. It it really helps keep the channel running because I, I was a comment. I, I read a comment from Ryan's Bricks today, and he was talking to me about how uh, it sucks that I don't have any Patreon supporters yet. And honestly, I'm not too bummed out. I understand it's 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 expensive. Five dollars a month is still quite a bit. Um, I would appreciate though if you checked it out at least. Let me know if you want me to improve anything, stuff like that. But yeah, I hope to see you guys soon. Thanks for watching, and have a great day.